Oh, this is all that retreat there. It's just deadly with these jumbo cicadas from TMCO. You can pull any size bass, and this is a smaller model, but it's just as fun. I'll tell you what, they're unreal, these things, especially if you work them, and patience is just key. Let me get this fella off, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Oh, Off you go, bud. Profile on these is so good, the attention to detail, you have to give the bass a good look at it because the closer they get to it, the more they'll be convinced. So when a cicada hits the surface, you'll see with the way that I retrieve that and the way that I love to retrieve these things, you throw around all these heavy big trees where in summer the cicadas just go crazy in here, they're deafening some days. But if you throw this thing in and let it sit there, stun like a cicada, and then just pulse it with a little tip, 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 tip of your rod. It'll get it just shuddering. And there's a little ball in here, a couple of little balls that sound a little bit like a cicada as they start to make their distress call. These things are mint. You've got to get them in there and just pulse them. Be patient and leave it there. If you're convinced that there's one in there, you can have a couple of casts, but just sit it in there. The time in there is so important for bass to make their mind up. Such good fun. There's a few in the range. So this is the jumbo cicada. There's a tiny cicada. There's a soft shell by TMCO. They're all brilliant. I love these ones when you've got heavy, heavy cover. The bigger profile, the bigger pulse, just calls them in. Yep. Yes. Oh, he's caught there on the cover. It. The smaller ones are just brilliant on bass, Saratoga, even brim and things like that. But this big one, I'm using it for bass at the moment, but it's going to take cod as well. It's got such a realistic profile and the wings, you can even see the finish there. And the balance on it is just perfect for a cicada. It sits dead flat on the surface of the water. You can see where I'm fishing, this overhanging cover, big trees where the cicadas are sitting. You can hear them during the middle of the day. They just start getting that deafening sound going as they're talking to each other. And if you've got that happening, you need to be throwing these things. They're a whole lot of fun to watch them paddle back to the boat or the kayak. Even land-based, if you can get into a quiet little pond and throw these things around, they're just dynamite. As you start to pulse it and bring it out a little bit further and then carry on with your retrieve, it really helps to have a solid tipped rod. So. This is only a very short rod, it's only five foot six, and you can see that it's not very whippy up top. And the reason that I like to use it like that is that it just gives that paddling action more aggression as you're bringing it through and pulls more bubbles down as the little paddles just kick in. If you're fishing with a uh, softer tip rod, it tends to dull the movement, and that soft tip as it pulses as you're bringing it through just doesn't let the lure dig in hard and keep punching through the water. So if you're after an aggressive style of an action, to really turn the bass on, a solid tip rod is a great way to go. It gives you accuracy with your casting, which is important with bass. It just means that during the fight, especially because I'm fishing, fishing a top water lure, you might not have a great hook set. So you've got to fish it a little bit softer. Use your arms to cushion the runs if the bass takes off or the cod takes off. But to get the most out of your lure, with these little surface walkers, I like a heavy tip rod. And if you raise the line off the water as well, that'll help with the action again. So this short stuff's okay, but if you're searching for fish and casting in dams with big casts, lifting your rod tip up just to get the lure to sit up a little bit and paddle, that's gonna help again. Especially with these smaller walkers, with the really big wake baits and things like that, and swim baits, you don't really need to worry about that. You want to dig in as much as you can into the water, but these little balanced, flat, top water crawlers, a raised rod tip really helps.
can see as it flies backwards, those wings tuck in for a bit of aerodynamic casting ability, which is great. They fire out there really easily, and when they paddle, they open up. That's the TMCO Jumbo Cicada.